فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين My beloved brothers, sisters Just a quick reminder, a few minutes That we are all the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We have come on to this earth And there is only one thing that is absolutely certain That we are going to leave this earth People have left before us And we shall leave and people will leave after us The one thing we all need to ask ourselves is How did I prepare for the day my heart stops pumping? And if you want a solid answer You put your hand on your chest And you listen to that heart pumping And you tell yourself This is going to stop one day What have I done to prepare For the day that I am lowered into my grave For the day that people will be carrying my janazah Or prior to that they would have given me the ghusl Or they would leave me having buried me And they would have returned And I will be all alone Myself, my a'mal, my deeds Good or bad And I'm at the mercy of Allah What have I done to prepare for that day? What have I done for the day I will be returned to the soil Such that when someone re-digs that grave They won't find anything besides a bit of dust and soil Perhaps some bones that have been degenerated What have I done for that day? What have I done for the day that I will be resurrected and brought in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What, what have I done for the day when I would expect to go to Jannah? Have I really made a payment that I will enter Jannah? And inshallah we can always do better than we are doing right now. We can quit our bad ways and habits, that's a preparation. And we can become more serious about our duties unto Allah. It's a simple message But it is a very serious message Because my brothers and sisters I only give you one example On earth The first million that you make You will work very hard to make it When you make it You will start looking at a property to buy So that you can live And if you've made more than that You will want to renovate your property In order for you to have some comfort You will make sure there is electricity Water And perhaps Air conditioning because it's becoming a bit warm these days And your driveway, your scenery, everything is good Not realizing you're only going to live in that house Maximum a decade or two if you're lucky Many people, the first 20 years, they are still being raised Second 20 years, they spend with their spouses The third 20 years, they can be widowed either this way or that way And after that, they go back to Allah I know of people who've been widowed at 40 And they've lived another 20 years Or another 40 years After that what happens? Trust me, this is the dunya The reality at dunya darul fana This dunya is actually an abode That is going to come to an end Let's understand this We just need to prepare Have a good heart Try and reach out to people Think good about people Try and make dua for people Try and help because when you help, Allah will help you. That's a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu And in that way, you will be building your akhirah. And in that way, the day you die, trust me, you will go with a smile. A true smile within that will never ever fade. Because do you know what? The malaika, they come to such a person prior to their, to their death by moments, by moments, and tell them, don't worry. Don't worry, abshiru bil jannah. This is in the Quran. Innal ladhina qalu rabbuna allahu thumma istaqamu tatanazzalu alayhimul malaikatu alla takhafu wa la tahzanu wa abshiru bil jannah. If you do two things, the angels will tell you three things. If you believe and you try and be as steadfast as possible, at the point of death, just as you are about to die, the angels will say, La takhafu, don't be scared. Wala tahzanu, no need to be sad. Abshiru bil jannah. We have 
brought you glad tidings of Jannah. Subhanallah, what a smile. You die with a smile, you're looking forward to it. May Allah make us from those. And a lot of the times we've done things in our past lives that we are not proud of. Don't lose hope. Make tawbah. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. Make amends. Change your ways. The sooner you do it, the better it will be. Even if you've done it moments before your death, you are lucky. But the moment the ghar comes, too late. Too late. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a changing before it is too late. And may Allah increase the love and the mahabba that we have amongst ourselves. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all of us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad.